Prince Andrew is said to be furious with government ministers after being told that his taxpayer-funded security guard will be removed, despite being stripped of his royal patronages and military titles in January this year. The Duke of York's annual security bill is said to amount to around £3 million. But do you support the axing of this? Vote in our poll. Andrew is currently escorted by police guards when he leaves the grounds of the Royal Estates in Windsor but this round-the-clock protection is set to end in mid-December, meaning he will be forced to fund security himself. Reports suggest he is looking to appeal the decision, with a source telling The Sun on Sunday, he is going to write to the Home Office and the Met Police to complain about losing his taxpayer-funded security. Andrew's demand for state-funded security is likely to cause a backlash as Britain faces a cost-of-living crisis and soaring bills. One senior Labour MP said, I know he has a title, but that doesn't mean he is entitled to taxpayer-funded protection. I know families who don't know if they will be able to afford their kids' Christmas presents this year. King Charles' brother was forced to step down from official royal duties in late 2019 following a BBC Newsnight interview and revelations of his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Virginia Jaffa launched a civil lawsuit against Andrew in August last year, accusing him of sexual assault. The pair later reached an out-of-court financial settlement and his lawyers say this is not an admission of guilt. Andrew has always vehemently rejected any allegations of wrongdoing. The Duke has since tried to return to royal life, but his efforts have been repeatedly blocked, with Charles and Prince William fearing he could plunge the firm into crisis. A recent Duke of Pole showed Andrew to be the least popular member of the royal family, with just 8% of the public having a favourable opinion of him. Recent reports claim that Charles and Andrew had emotional and fraught conversations in Scotland before the Queen's death over his role in the firm. A source claimed Charles told his brother there would be no hope of a comeback under his reign. An insider told the Mail on Sunday earlier this month that Andrew was left tearful and utterly bereft at the outcome. They said, Andrew was totally blindsided. He is utterly bereft. He always believed there was a way back. Andrew was extremely close to the Queen and tried to raise the issue of his return to public life many times with her. Naive as it may sound, he always had hopes of regaining his position as a senior royal. At the meeting, Charles told him that he can go off and have a good life, a nice life but that his public life as a royal is at an end. He was told, you have to accept this. So what do you think? Do you support the axing of Andrew's taxpayer-funded security? Vote in our poll and leave your thoughts in the comment section below.